everybody. So we've been talking a lot about veggie prep and food prep this week. Um, I just wanted to, since I was right about in the middle of making a spontaneous uh, jar salad, I just wanted to show you one way that you could do it. I'm trying to clean out my fridge this morning. I've got a sick kid at home, so I'm at home today. And um, I'm kind of just cleaning out the remnants. So I had a three quarters of a piece of bacon left from breakfast. So I crumpled that up and threw that in the jar and then I saw in the back of my fridge I had a little bit of blue cheese left and bacon and blue cheese is the basis of a really yummy salad. <coughs> so I'm just going to kind of walk you through my thought process of how I kind of clean out my vegetables while I'm doing this. So I'm looking through my fridge, I see mushrooms, okay, and I also marinated some beets yesterday. So yesterday I did do food prep and I was at home yesterday as well because uh, it's a sick kid and I have allergies so excuse me <coughs> so basically how you do a jar salad I'm gonna show that to you first what you want to do is if you're gonna put the dressing in it <coughs> you want to put that on the bottom with your <coughs> excuse me proteins okay so my proteins are the blue cheese and the bacon and also I have this one random chicken sausage so I'm gonna throw that in there. I heated it up, cooked it in the microwave and just threw it in there. Um, a great thing with blue cheese and what I'm about to put in here, these beets, is steak. So if you have a little bit of leftover steak, that's an awesome thing to put in there. Basically you wanna put all those proteins, all the hard stuff and also the dressing down at the bottom. Then you wanna put in your mushy vegetables, your tomatoes, in this case beets, um, things that are, don't have to stay crisp because the crisp stuff needs to be up at the top. Okay. Also, if you have nuts, um, I'm going to grab some nuts. Mushrooms would probably go more towards the top. Beets, um, zucchini, any kind of cooked vegetable, that's going to go in the middle, right above your protein. So, I threw some beets in there, and basically these are just marinated beets. We talked a little bit about that. Um, they're just beets that I steamed, that I marinated them in oil and sherry vinegar or red wine vinegar, your choice. Um, overnight and um, just I smashed a garlic clove and threw it in there too and that's pretty much it a little bit of salt a little bit of pepper um, if I wanted to then I'm gonna put on top of this any nuts sunflower seeds something like that so let me grab uh, those in this case with you know beets blue cheese um, I would do pecans or walnuts in this case, I've got a few pecans, so throw those in there. Okay, now I've got a really substantial salad. This is meaty, right? I've got cheese, I've got beets, I've got nuts, I've got a protein in there, the chicken sausage, or you could do steak, like I said, even ground beef if you've got it. And then I'm going to throw in my crisper vegetables, like my fresh vegetables, like raw peppers, the salad, whether it's spinach or romaine or something like that. In this case, I've got a bunch of romaine I need to use. So I'm gonna throw that in and almost make some of it get in there. Okay, and I've got, I can pack this pretty full. This is a ton of vegetables in here, right? I've got probably over a half a cup of beets in here and then probably a cup or two of lettuce. So that's plenty of vegetables. That's like four servings of vegetables for the day, which means that you're like on super track. So um, then I'm just gonna put the jar, screw the jar on top. I'm not putting my dressing in. I'll put it in a separate container. I can keep this. This will stay two or three days in my fridge. So this is awesome. I don't even have it. I'm just trying to get rid of stuff that's in my fridge. So now I've gotten rid of the blue cheese. I've gotten rid of that weird chicken, that random one chicken sausage and um, I'm cutting down on the amount of romaine I have. If you have any questions, please hit me up. All right, hopefully this works out for you. Tell me how you guys did it as well, okay?